and he starts us off with 3.24 PTU patch for Evo card he just dropped. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, this one is going to be pretty straightforward. Test and focus remains the same. Um, this one, they made an update uh, to uh, under the gameplay category. They've adjusted mission tagged cargo resale value when sold outside the mission. So now I feel like they need to uh, take into account piracy. Those that want to engage in piracy, uh, they should be able to sell and still make a profit, uh, a decent amount of money making piracy worth it too, right? So they shouldn't fully nerf the value um, even though it belongs to a mission. So hopefully they take that into account. All right, so this one has a few bug fixes. Uh, they fixed an issue uh, of when docking or retrieving a ship to a docking port at a station, the docking arm will not extend. When leaving a pickup location of mission cargo in the instance stage hangar warehouse, inventory is cleared. So that's an interesting bug there. If it's an issue where you're unable to store ships when retrieved in medium hangars, they also fix an issue uh, where while you're in your hangar, you can hear the sounds of other players. Uh, this is one of the ones that we already know about it. Um, seems like it's still an issue because uh, they, they've announced this multiple times. Uh, they fix an issue where a player's ship will sometimes be impounded when they land in their assigned hangar. They fix an issue where mission markers do not correctly update after cargo has been picked up. They fix an issue where pressing abandoned mission takes the player to the history tab instead of changing the objective but staying in the accepted tab. They fix an issue where you're unable to use plotted route to planet side location while in planet orbit. Interesting. They fix an issue where landing zone delivery location display the delivery location at the center of the area and not the spaceport. They fix an issue where players placed in medical elevators will not get sent to the hospital. They fix an issue where causing expand button on nested container to not fill the kiosk display until scrolling down the item list. Along with this is one client crash and two server crash fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization Phase 1 Industries is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.